Well, Gaffer, so much to like about that performance this afternoon. What pleased you most? Everything about the performance was outstanding. You know, first half we played some really exciting football. You know, it's great to to obviously go two nil, uh, two goals up, and then the second half, the way we dug in, um, we defended as a group was outstanding. So we showed both sides of us today. Yeah, fantastic to get off the off the mark so early in the game and a, a finish full of quality by Rida Kadra. Yeah, Rida was outstanding today. Uh, so was Chongi. Both wide men were, were really, really good. We'd, we've done a lot of work this week on that. Uh, so to see that come out was really pleasing. But you know, the all-round performance of everyone was was top, and to allow them to 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 do what they did today was was a lot of hard work from behind them and um, you know the back four were outstanding uh, the three midfielders you know were, were different class you know three uh, academy graduates you know for such young boys to come in and play like they did today was outstanding and obviously Chrissy has had a bit of bad luck having his two front teeth knocked out you know uh, so after half an hour to, for him to come off was, was a shame but JJ came on and you know he was great. Yeah, it's a front line full of pace behind Lukas Jukovic this afternoon. You know how much work had gone into that. It's a slightly different shape for us. Yeah, listen, it's a lot of hard work had gone into this week for that. But again, it, it, we've had a real good week on the training field in, in real difficult circumstances. Obviously, with the training ground um, burning down, and you know trying to find places for the lads to tr uh, to change and and to eat. And you know, very grateful for the work from Hayes. You know, they really helped us out a, a great deal. And um, you know, it's been good. It's been a really good week. And and, you know, um, you know, you can see all that coming out in the game today. Absolutely. And we go and get a second through Kevin Long. And it was some finish for a centre-half for Cheston Volley. Yeah, outstanding. Um, you know, and uh, again, Matt Gardner's work with the set pieces that came off, you know. Um, you know, and Longy, he's had a couple of chances in the last few games and he hasn't taken them. So to get that goal today was, was brilliant. And it just marks another fantastic performance from him. Yeah, I was about to say that. Is it, are we starting to see the best of Kevin Long? He's had a, a consistent run of games in the team now. He's got up to speed from a conditioning and sharpness point of view. We've seen what he's capable of. Yeah, we are. And, you know, he's a, he's a top, top player. But you've got to remember he's got Harley next to him. You know, he's got Max and, and Austin Trusty next to him as well. So the whole back four were outstanding today. Uh, big Robbo coming in for the last 10, 15 minutes as well was, was, was great. And, you know, we've got real good competition for places there. And, um, you know, it was a collective performance today. Young Alfie, for a, such a young player to to play that defensive midfield role as well was uh, against a real physical uh, team today. He, he was top, top draw and, um, you know, so pleased for him and, and very proud of his performance. Yeah, you expect Rotherham to have a spell in the game. That probably came at the start of the second half, but how pleased were you with how we dealt with it? Yeah, I was really pleased and, you know, we knew they'd have to change something after the first half and they threw a couple of bigger lads on, you know, the, the you know, and then they threw a couple more bigger lads on. So, you know, the, they were very direct, the way the back four stood up to that uh, on the one negative we could have been a bit more com composed when we won the ball back just making good decisions with the ball but you know we still looked a, a threat on the transition I think we still had the better chances in that second half and uh, you know as I say you know uh, it showed both sides of us today and it was very pleasing. Yeah we watched you train towards the back end of this week moving the snow off defending crosses was a key part of that particular session so how pleased was it then to keep that clean sheet out there and have to defend so many balls into the box? Yeah we listen we've done it all on the training field this week you know full credit to the lads I've said from day one, this group of players are very coachable. Their attitudes have been brilliant since day one. You know, we're learning as a group. And today, you know, you could see that come out. Last week at Wigan, you know, all the hard work before that had come out in, the, in that game as well. You know, so you can see we're doing, we're putting the hours and we're putting the work in and, and it's coming out on the on the field. Yeah, you mentioned Alfie Chang's role in there. Christian Bielik's blow to the face means that Jordan James is thrown on as well. To then compliment George Hall in the middle. Three academy graduates, as you mentioned. How positive is that for the football club given the fact that as it's been mentioned there they played in that reverse fixture at Rotherham and the progression between then and now looks looks steep. Yep yeah, and I've said from day one you know it's about developing our own players at the right time giving them the exposure um, you know and, and, and also playing them you know when there's not too much pressure on them you know George, George came in a couple of weeks ago and did really well we've taken him out JJ has had to be patient for his uh, minutes as well but you know Alfie Alfie was, has been a, a breath of fresh air since he came in. You know, he's very, very confident and all three of them today were outstanding. But it's important that we keep developing them at the right stages um, and that's my job to do it. And you can see from the start of the season to now how they're maturing, how they're getting better. We've still got Job to come back as well, which is great. You know, we've got a lot of other young players pushing for places in the squad as well. So the academy at this football club is, has done a fantastic job and uh, it's my job to develop these players at the right time. Mm.
We've seen both sides of the team this afternoon. I think to that second half, it's a bit of a wrestling match at one stage between Jordan Hugel and Austin Trusty. You've got bodies thrown on the line as well. And they're going to need that sort of fighting spirit and that scrapping mentality for the remainder of the season now. They are, yeah. And I do think we've shown that fighting uh, mentality throughout the whole of this season. You know, today we had that bit of quality. Readers took his first goal fantastically well. You know, another set piece goal, which set piece set pieces. Um, you know, uh, win your games uh, in both boxes, and um, you know it's it's all about just that togetherness. It's important that we don't get too high and too low with all the defeats and and high with the wins. So we just keep working hard. You know, I couldn't be any more proud of the group. The group were fantastic today. Uh, they were fantastic last week at Wigan, um, and we've got real two uh, tough away games coming up. But we'll be prepared and uh, ready to go. Absolutely. Starting off with Watford. I know you've been asked about it in the press conference, but a club that you know very well. Are you looking forward to going back there on Tuesday night? Yeah, of course. I was there for five years. You know, I was captain of the team for five years, and I've got some fantastic memories from the football club. But you know, it's about Birmingham City. It's not about me. And you know, I couldn't be any more proud of going there, being manager of of this magnificent football club, and um, hopefully we can put on a good performance. Well done tonight, Gaffer. Thank you.